So today um, we are going to talk about Google local services ads. And, you know, I suspect and I hope that most of you who are on this call either already are on the YLOPO uh, LSA product, um, are using or you're using YLOPO LSA or sorry, sorry Google LSA uh, yourselves already um, and you just are coming to learn more. Um, if you are not on Google local services ads at this point, like you need to get on it, whether it's through YLOPO or it's through um, doing it yourself, uh, it is critical, right? Uh, what 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 YLOPO LSA is, and I'll briefly explain this again, is very simple. Uh, Google has changed their um, user interface where if you type in anything related to real estate agent or realtor, so like top realtor in Santa Monica, uh, you will have the opportunity to get screened by Google uh, as a professional in the real estate space and have an opportunity to show up on the top three, uh, you know, as a, a uh, you know, preferred professional to agent or to consumers, right? And not only is this powerful because you can see uh, con consumers are going to read reviews and see faces of you before they see any search results. So you can imagine the majority of people who are looking for realtors are going to click on one of those three images. But in addition to that, when they click on one of these images, the call to action to the consumer is to call you, right? So they are an inbound phone call of someone who is searched for top realtor in Santa Monica, Myrtle Beach, wherever. Like that is incredibly strong lead, right? Oh, yeah. um, so, so the intentionality behind these leads is tremendous. Um, well, and you know, you know, the, the go ahead, Barry. People, uh, people don't shop for a realtor, you know. Like that's not until they're really ready to transact. Um, I, I haven't heard anybody say when when they get a lead it's not amazing. Like, you know, uh, because as you said, five to 10 ROI is not unusual. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so, um, you know, there's two components to the lead quality, uh, you know, why I care so much about Google LSA. And let me just take a pause here for a second for something administrative, mm -hmm. uh, Kiwi, can you promote a couple of our LSA team members as panelists. Uh, please keep your videos off. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, that way, the questions that come through the chat in the Q&A, they can help answer um, that are just for hosts. Um, I'm seeing a lot of questions. Uh, and, uh, you know, we are not going to have time to answer all of them. Thank you. So um, with my local LSA... Can you just have, them, just have them slack me so I know who they are? Okay, team members on here who are Google LSA team members, please Slack Kiwi and get added as panelists. Keep your videos off. Thank you. So they're inbound high quality leads because they're inbound phone calls. You don't chase them. They're high intent prospects with short time frames because they're already looking for a top realtor or a realtor in an area. And they're heavily sellers and buyers uh, and out of town buyers, because you can imagine someone who's looking for a realtor already, instead of looking for homes for sale, um, is someone who is, has a higher propensity to be a seller or out of town buyer, right? And I would say, um, you know, that's not always the case. There are a lot of buyers that come through uh, the platform. Uh, if they're a seller, fantastic. It's probably similar ratios to what you would expect for someone who is looking to buy and sell. Uh, but regardless, you are going to get some sellers from this program, right? The second thing is it's low cost. You only pay for actual inbound phone calls. And so, um, you know, the cost for LSA, and by the way, LSA is getting more competitive every single day. Um, and, uh, you know, really last is. year, like you could pay $30 a phone call and get like 25, 50 calls a month. Uh, and, and you are the one of five people in your market. Today, there's probably 100 to 200 people in your market. Uh, and you're all competing for the same type of keyword. So it's just way more competitive. That's why you need to stand out even more. And as a result, the cost per lead for Google, because it's a bidding platform, has increased, right? Like we've seen cost per lead go from, for, for most clients, from like $30. Now we're seeing a lot of $60 up to $90 cost per call. Still totally worth it because they're all inbound phone calls and you're only paying on a cost per lead basis. And the second thing, which is 
just as important is you get refunded for all irrelevant and out of area calls. So that means that if someone calls you randomly and they're a robocall or they're uh, calling about cleaning services or rentals or whatever, um, you know, as long as you tell Google about them, and that's the key, if you tell Google, then you will actually get a refund on those leads. That is very unique from a marketing per platform perspective. There is no other platform out there that will give you a refund if you have a bad lead, right? If you click on a Google ad, if someone clicks on a Google ad, comes to your website and doesn't register, or they register but with bad email address, you can't go back to Google and say, hey, that was a bad click. You know, I want a refund on that. There's no mechanism for doing so, right? With Google LSA, there actually is a mechanism, which is why our clients consistently tell us they're seeing a ridiculous ROI with LSA, right? Um, so before I go further on the, uh, you know, LSA side, um, I just want you guys to know uh, you are going to, uh, we have our White Local Summit on, in April on the 5th through the 8th which is Tuesday through Thursday um, in about three weeks here. Uh, you know, with the summit, we are going even deeper on the topics that we are talking about here. And you guys are going to learn so much. Uh, it starts with a one day boot camp where we literally hand you a report of everything in the Wailopo ecosystem that we are that we can do and what you are taking advantage of and what you are not, right? So this is literally like a mechanic tuning check-in for you for your usage of the white logo platform that you're paying thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars for a month um to just that alone i think is well worth it for us to go through every part of your platform and make sure that you're using it well uh you know and then we're going to go through two days of uh you know hearing from high performing clients about how they use white logo for buyers sellers recruiting and more and then we're also going to share with you exclusive new releases in 2022 and the future of Wailopo 2023, right? I will tell you right now, we have probably our biggest release of the year that we are going to be sharing with you at the summit that if you are at summit, you will have access to first, right? So if you come to summit- time. Say that one more time. Yeah. If you come to summit, you are going to get first access to the biggest feature slash product why Luopo is releasing in 2022. Big Far deal. Enough, right? Big deal. And it is a really big deal. <laughs> um, we're going to preview it in a second here, just as a flash. Um, so you guys know where we're going here. And if you uh, use LSA25 as your discount, as a discount code, uh, you will be able to get 25% off Summit. And actually, I didn't put it on this, uh, you know, um, on this page, but if you go to wailopo.com slash summit, that is how you go about and register. Okay. So LSA 25, 25% off wailopo.com slash summit. And I would say, you know, we've been working and obsessing about, I mean, we've been meeting for summit all year, pretty much. I yeah. mean, and um, this is uh, a very technical day one is going to be very technical um, where we're going to give you uh, the realtors and resident team is going to be there and we're going to be sharing our tips and tricks. Um, and, uh, and so this isn't the type of thing you go to and you just leave impressed. Uh, we hope you leave impressed, but more importantly, you're going to leave equipped uh, to be able to maximize the tools and have some actionable steps to make more money uh, for the remainder of the year. So you, it's a no brainer. You got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Yeah. And, and uh you know, we just extend, extend the room rates, our discounted roommates. I don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, and uh, at some point, the conference is going to fill up. I think we're already over 800 attendees at this point. So please join us. Great sessions, um, great networking, all that stuff. Um, so, you know, uh, so the big problem with LSA and, you know, there's, I apologize. Our uh, ordering um, has changed a little bit. So, well, and I'll just, as you're doing that, I'll speak through, you know, look, yeah, please. one of the comments that, that I'd probably say, you know, 20 people said is like, I'm not getting any calls. And, and I think that's how we all feel, right? Like I was the first person in Hampton Roads to have LSA. Hampton Roads is my area. And um, now there's like hundreds and hundreds 
And, um, and, and so, you know, the, the, there's only three agents at the top. And so, you know, getting those calls is the core problem. If you're getting the calls, you're making a ton of money. Um, and so this is the big problem with LSA. And this is the, you know, the next several slides that G is going to be going over is how we're solving for that. There's going to be several facets to this that you guys are going to see that I've personally experienced because even mine stopped ringing and now yeah. I'm getting 15 to 20 a month. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, uh, we're going to show you exactly how we go about managing your LSA account to get you more phone calls. Uh, and I apologize, the ordering of the deck was shuffled a little bit. And, uh, you know, um, I, I think I'm going to save, <laughs> we were going to talk about a secret project that we're going to launch at Summit, but I'm going to actually, took that slide out, I'm actually going to save it for the Summit just to make it a little more exclusive. So, uh, sorry, I took out a teaser in the in this deck. So, um, you know, let me start off by saying that uh, we want, you know, the LSA and GMB and that's Google My Business, which are linked products, to be uh, something that every person in the wild local ecosystem does. That means all 3,000 teams on uh, our system should have LSA and GMB. And we believe Wailopo can save you a lot of time in managing all of that. And so from a pricing perspective, we only charge you $99 a month. And you're going to see the host of services we provide for that, plus 10% of your media spend, right? So this is uh, by far of all the servicing products by Wailopo, our cheapest product. And we did that for a reason. It's because we wanted to make it super accessible, right? And you're going to see all the things that we do uh, for Wailobo. So um, I'm going to, uh, you know, kind of take you through a quick outline of the things that we're going to talk about. Uh, and, uh, and then we're going to just go into the details and Barry stop me anytime, obviously. So, yeah. um, you know, the, uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, get you Google screened, right? So if you, this is, uh, you, you, for all of you who are currently on uh, LSA already, you can skip through this part and I'm going to go fast through it because it's, you know, you are already probably Google screened. Um, you know, we are going to build up your Google My Business, which is uh, very important because it ties directly into your LSA. And in and it of itself, Google My Business optimization is really important in general for your local business. We're going to explain to you how we help you get more reviews. We're going to get you credits for your irrelevant leads. We're going to answer your LSA phone calls. <laughs> We're going to help you manage and optimize your budget, which helps you optimize and manage your LSA. And we also are going to properly track LSA leads going to your CRM. So uh, we are doing a lot of different things. We're going to break down each component for you. And, um, you know, what I want to emphasize here is, uh, you know, we want you to win with LSA, right? And so all of the things that I'm going to show you are things that if you had all the time in the world, you, you know, some of them you can because they're technology driven, but the vast majority you can do yourself. So this is an educational webinar for you as well, right? So if you did want to do everything I mentioned here below yourself, we're giving you our exact playbook, right? Because that's how important LSA is. So the first thing is getting Google screened, right? So Google screened means that you have gone through the Google setup process where um, Google has validated your state licensing, they've validated your background, they validate that you're a realtor, um, you know, your, your office address, all of that kind of stuff where they say, this is a real estate professional, right? So at that point, you are going to get a badge on your profile that says Google screen, right? So uh, getting set up on, on Google is a pain in the neck and getting approved can have a lot of issues. So if you don't have Google LSA, period, then it is something that our team can entirely set up for you. We just need a couple of assets and we have uh, enterprise Google uh, account access and we can set everything up for you, right? Yeah, so, and if I, I know somebody that tried to do it on their own, I think it took like two and a half months. Um, I don't know uh, if, the, if the enterprise team has any better luck with speed, but yeah, um, really fast. And it's, it's a ton of issues, you know, there might be, 
you know, two Google My Business pages that you had created a while ago. It might be, you know, uh, license exp expiration. Uh, it might be a lot of times they need your actual insurance information as an agent and your, in, your broker carries the insurance and it's not carried by you and you, you need to actually be on the broker's insurance. Like there's so many issues that requires communication with Google that if we can just knock that out for you, it's so much faster. So um, just for getting screened, you know, if you don't have LSA, honestly, I think it's worth it just to use our platform because we're going to do it so much faster for you. Um, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to help build up your Google My Business, right? So uh, the LSA product ties in, you know, seamlessly into Google My Business, right? So if you go type in top realtor in uh, Los Angeles and click on the button there, the entire profile that you see associated with that LSA and basically why a consumer would call you from reviews to content to everything else comes from your Google My Business page, right? So the more that we can optimize that experience, the more you're going to rank within Google, but also the people who click on your profile, the higher percentage of them will actually call you. That's why it's so important. Right. And on the Google My Business side, you know, if you're uh, this is screenshots of Barry's, uh, you know, a profile. Uh, how do you know if you even have a Google My Business page? Google your name plus, you know, realtor plus your location and see what pops up. It will pop up on the right hand side of Google. Right. And if your screen doesn't look like what you're seeing here, you have an under optimized Google My Business account. Right. Um, and, you know, most clients do. That's what we find because it takes a lot of time. And we do several different things to op optimize your Google My Business. But what I'd say, and Barry, I love your commentary on this, is what's nice about Google My Business is it gives you three in combination of LSA is that it gives you three separate opportunities to show up at the top of Google when someone types in realtor in Virginia Beach, realtor in Los Angeles, right? You can show up in the LSA section, you can show up in the top of the local search results, and you can show up as a pin within the map search itself. Right. So helping you optimize your LSA and GMB and linking it together, it's like having three separate pieces of Google working in your favor and reinforcing that you're a top agent in this area, um, you know, within the Google environment. Right. Yeah. You know, gee, I agree with you. You know, I, I personally think that the Google My Business profile that that you're showing, it's it's so interesting because as you guys can see in this slide. Um, this goes ahead of search engine optimization. Like literally there's an ad, then there's Google My Business, then there's SEO. So we all talk about SEO, but this shows you guys how important it is. And when, when uh, I look for top real estate agent in Virginia Beach, for example, I'm consistently in that number one spot. And, um, you know, we're as important as LSA is, Google My Business, I still get, because I have a tracking number on that, I still get a lot of inbound calls just from the GMB profile because they see the profile, they read about us, and then they give us a call. So it's it's incredibly powerful. And the fact that Wilopo is optimizing that um, and taking on that initiative, that's a really big deal. 100%. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, GMB optimization takes time. You know, uh, we are, it, once you sign up for a product, we are going through and we are optimizing your GMB. Uh, but if your GMB hasn't been optimized, you notice that uh, ping our team at LSA at ylopo.com and we can tell you where you are in the slotting for us to complete that effort. Right. So you can find that out at LSA at ylopo.com. I'm just checking out different questions that have come in. Um, so in terms of building out, you know, your GMB, um, we are doing a couple of different things. The first thing is we're doing a general audit of GMB for problems. Uh, we're looking for inconsistencies in, you know, your phone number, your address, your location, all the information is correct according to Google Duck guidelines. And we're also doing review management. What's really important is when a consumer leaves you a review, Google wants to see that you're actively engaging with them, right? So we actually will uh, like the review, 
Uh, we will thank them for, you know, leaving the review. Uh, and you're going to see a lot of engagement when it comes to different reviews that are left on your page. We optimize your profile by updating all of your photos. Um, this, believe it or not, is very important for both GMB and LSA that you have a lot more photos than just your single photo because people want to see how big your team is. They want to see your professional. They want to see your office, all that kind of stuff. Um, we do ongoing posts for you on a monthly basis. So every single month, we are going to add new articles to your GMB page, right? So this is very important. Again, we're optimizing your content to appear, uh, you know, so that your page is engaged. And all of this activity that you're seeing here helps you rank higher on organic search for GMB as well as for your LSA, right? Uh, and, you know, Barry, I mean, you know, we, we've optimized your GMB for a long time. You're obviously our guinea pig for, for everything. Uh, you know, outside of LSA, I'm just kind of curious, how has GMB impacted your business? Honestly, it's been super consistent. Whereas LSA is like, it's hot and then it's not, um, you know, and when, when LSA is hot, it's like the best lead I've ever had in my career. Okay, so let me just say that. But GMB is just this like, very consistent, always. Looks like uh -oh. I, I cut out for a second. You there? Yeah, you were here. Go There's ahead. A storm. There's a storm by. Uh, uh, we had a, um, a luxury buyer last Friday from, it was from GMB, right? So like it actually, somebody read our profile and they called in. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's a, it's something that you guys can control. Um, and so I would strongly recommend obsessing about it, um, you know, connecting with support with the LSA team and making sure you have it dialed in because it's, it, it does, it's very empowering because you know, you can control it. And I mean, you, you get emails from Google all the time. When you guys make these posts, you see at the bottom on this example on the slide, it says 19 views and zero clicks. You know, I've had some that had like, you know, 300 views and 10 clicks. And so, you know, it's, it's, uh, there's also a Google My Business app, a mobile app. Um, I know for iPhone, I'm, I'm, well, if there's an iPhone one, I'm sure there's an Android one. Uh, but, um, uh, and that's actually really interesting as well to be able to see that. Yeah, a hundred percent. And, you know, and you can, by the way, on the Google My Business side, see the analytics of its impact on your, uh, you know, search volume, right? So it's not just like you're seeing this from a vanity perspective. It's all uh, something that, you know, you can visibly see, uh, you know, within your uh, dashboard as well. So when it comes to LSA, it's nice to have an optimized profile, but the most important part of GMB and really LSA is reviews, right? And it's the volume of reviews, it's the recency of reviews, uh, you know, that impacts your business. And when a consumer, how do you get your review link on your GMB? If you click write a review, it's going to come up with a link with your public profile and you're able to, as a consumer, leave a review right there there, right? You're also able to get a link that you can send out to get other people to give you reviews as well. Now, um, Wileop will provide you a couple of different tools that are rather unique. And this is something, by the way, even if you don't use the LSA product, um, you can use today, which is getting the right reviews, right? So if you go to your branded website, uh, and if you go to your team section where you have everyone on your team, You'll notice a button if you have in your onboarding stage registered for this, you have to provide us the information, obviously. You should see a button that says, write me a review, right? When you click on this button, it creates a link to a review page that we have built out specifically for you. Now, this is a review link that you can shorten and then email out. You can put into your action plans. You can text to your uh, you know, clients. It's mobile friendly. And what it does is if you provide a four and a half star or four and a, less than a four and a half star review, let's say you put a three review or two review, it opens up a submission form that says, you know, give me your feedback, right? And you allow the client to essentially vent and that is sent to you as an email, right? It does not go out into the public sphere. Only if you give a four and a half or a five-star review 
does it take you to a thank you page where it says, please review me below, uh, you know, click on the Google link right here and it's going to take them to their, their GMB page, right? So it guarantees that essentially all of the reviews you receive on your GMB and LSA are going to be four or five stars, which obviously really helps your rankings. I wanted to be able to automate the request for reviews, but I wanted to control um, the outcome as much as possible. And, um, you know, I, uh, so now when uh, we close a lead or close a deal, uh, they get a drip from me, the CMO of our brokerage saying, hey, would you mind reviewing your agent? I'm sure they didn't bring it up. Um, and, and so, the, and I provide a link to this review filter. Um, and, uh, and now it's gotten to the point because reviews are so important. Anyone that we label hot or warm in our CRM gets an email, an action plan email from, from our CRM. Uh, that's a, it's an NPS score. Like it's just a, like a, Hey, will you rate the conversation you just had? And it's a link to our review filter. So we're obsessively automating the request for reviews and I don't have to worry. The, I've had people I had a scenario where someone complained about their agent. They texted in and said, I'm really unhappy with my agent. You know, she didn't do what I wanted her to do. Um, and uh, the, I sent that review link, believe it or not. I said, oh my gosh, we want to hear about this. Review us. And they, they, sure enough, they gave one star and they wrote a whole bunch about it, about what, you know, how they're unhappy. And it, it, it went in as a note, but it, it kept it to where it was private. Yeah, 100%. So it's critical. And you should do this again, whether or not you use uh, Ylopo LSA or you do it yourself, this is available to you right now. And if you don't see that, write me a review link, contact support at ylopo.com, and we'll go set it up for you on your branded site once we get all of your information, right? Um, so that is how we make sure you get the right reviews. Now, the next step <laughs> is how do you get more reviews, right? <laughs> you know, you can have the right review set up, but how do you get more of them? Well, uh, the first and foremost thing we recommend is email all of your past clients, right? Um, that's, you know, the easiest way to get reviews, people who have already enjoyed working with you, right? The second, and Barry can speak to this, is to set up an action plan inside your CRM that as soon as your listing goes from a stage to pending or newly closed, that you get an email or a text or a drip or whatever it is sent out to those people right away to leave you a review on your uh, Ylopo review engine, right? Um, those are going to be immediate reviews. And it, it, because it is consistent, it's not months old, that's also going to help your LSA uh, rankings, right? Um, you know, the third thing we've heard a lot of clients have success on is to run a contest to get local friends and family to write you reviews. Reviews do not necessarily need to be past clients. They just need to be uh, from, you know, uh, different people. And I've heard of clients who uh, have gotten their, you know, had a team bonus, right? Have all of uh, their team members text everyone in their, uh, you know, in their phone or email everyone in their Gmail database and say, hey, guys, just leave me your personal endorsement and review, uh, you know, on this link. And they get hundreds of re reviews that way, right? So there's there's a lot of tactics that you can play, uh, and then also uh, when someone is booked via LSA, meaning they are engaged with you, uh, you can ask them uh, within the the, uh, the Google Local Services Ads interface to write you a review as well. And those are actually weighted the highest by Google because those are people that they have sent you that. Uh, has you have booked into an appointment that are ready to leave your review, right? Now, what are the things that you shouldn't do? Um, you should not have your office write you reviews. Uh, Google automatically scrubs out all reviews that come from the same IP address. So if you have, you know, uh, everyone in your office do it, uh, it is going to instantly scrub those out. Uh, you know, Google uh, looks out for emails that are not geographically constrained to your area. Uh, that way you can't gamify it, right? So if you send a lot of emails out to out of town friends and family, their reviews will mostly likely not be shown on Google. And don't write reviews yourself, right? If you write 10 reviews for yourself, none of them are going to go through. So it's a waste of time, right? So you want to try to have different methods to get reviews, both creative and, um, you know, traditional, 
right? And what I think people need to get a hold of here is we're a, we've we've kind of fallen into this habit where we're only asking people that have bought or sold a house to review us. And you know, when LSA launched and it an LSA embedded in their Google app after a phone call, do you want to send them a request for a review? To me, that was Google basically saying there's different ways, there's interactions that they had with our business, right? Um, and so, you know, you guys have to think creatively of different ways to ask for those. And that's why, like I said, we, when the disposition of hot and warm goes out, we've automated a request that says, hey, will you let us know how we're doing? That's not an unusual request in other industries. It's just a new, new thing for, uh, for real estate. And um, uh, yeah, okay, awesome. Oh, you know, and one other tip uh, Gabe is doing, um, he's uh, asking the cooperative agent. So if he represents the, the, the seller, for example, and the, the buying agent, the selling agent, um, he'll say, hey, you know, the, it was really great working with you. I hope you enjoyed working with me. Would you like to do a professional review for each other on Google? And he's actually had people do it. So, you know, just be creative about it. Yeah, yeah. And, and we're being creative about it as well, guys. So one of the things we're experimenting with right now is not everyone in your database are going to, um, you know, know or see an email from you uh, to give you a review, right? So we're testing out for a certain number of clients, um, you know, review engine uh, links and websites right now that runs consistently to your database with remarketing. Right. So we're remarketing to your database and we're showing them advertisements to go and review you. Right. So as we try different experiments of how do we get you more reviews, we're going to release it uh, more far and wide. And our goal is obviously to increase it, the frequency and also the volume of your reviews. So Wailopo is doing a lot of these experiments as well, many of them that over time will pay fruit. Um, there are a lot of, uh, you know, kind of, um, you know, uh, I would say secret sauce uh, type stuff that we are doing for you all the time to help you increase your rankings that I'm not necessarily going to talk about. But, uh, you know, uh, these, this is an example of the type of work that my team is working on all the time around reviews. And again, it's something that you can try yourself as well. You can get your database onto Facebook and you can, you know, remarket to them too. Specific things that the Google LSA team is doing for. LSA customers that um, I have personally witnessed <laughs> in my own account. Um, I went from, I made a mistake with the way I was distributing inbound calls. My answer rate went way down. So I went a period of three months with no calls on LSA because of a mistake on routing inbound calls. Um, basically when one agent hung up, all of them hung up and it was just a mistake on my part. Um, and so I watched the LSA team kind of manhandle my LSA account and, and leverage some really key um, uh, in the know methods to get me to back to, to rank. And, um, and so obviously we can't share that with everybody, but know that if you're a LSA customer on Wailopo, there are, uh, there are a lot of things going on behind the scenes to make sure that we're doing everything we can to help you rank. 100%. Um, you know, I see one question asked over and over again, which is, does this work in Canada? And uh, unfortunately, Google has not released this to Canada. They keep saying they will very soon, but they have not. And as soon as they do, we will let you know. Here's the good news. We have actually created a LSA-like product that works in Canada. If you attend Summit, you will be the first to get signed up for that product. <laughs> so I'm just going to tease that a little bit for you. We have a solution for all of our Canadian clients to do something like this. We're just going to be releasing it at Summit. You're muted. It's, yeah, it's, it's not just for Canadian clients. This feature basically is going to solve the problem of, of not getting enough leads. Yeah. More. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so, uh, you know, the next thing is getting refunded for bad calls, right? So we have done the research and what we have seen is that 38% of all phone calls that comes from LSA that are answered, that are answered are refundable 
because they do not meet Google standards. They are irrelevant to your business. They are under 36 seconds. And there are many other reasons as well, right? And, you know, if you were to need to answer uh, your, or refund your own messages, uh, you are going to have to go into the Google Local Services dashboard as an account owner, right, as an administrator, uh, in order to basically write out the uh, notif notification for why you are disputing this lead, right? So imagine if you're a team and you're distributing leads to your team. In, for, in order for your team to go in and write reviews, you have to give them all admin status to your Google Local Services ads account, which obviously they will be able to see your budget. They will be able to see a lot of stuff. It's not the best experience. And also, it, getting reviews requires, like Google is automatically doing this, right? They're not listening to every single phone call. And so there are certain keywords and language that is going to be used to generate the most refunds, right? So on the Ylopo side, what do we do? Well, first and foremost, we actually have an entire quality assurance team that listens to every single phone call and gets your leads refunded. Right. So that 38% refund rate that you see there for our well local clients, that is actually our team listening to your phone calls and figuring out the proper scripting to maximize your refunds. Right. Now, our average client on the LSA platform gets about six phone calls per month. Right. That's not a lot. That's not a big number. Right. And so if we can get you an average of two to three refunds per month, we easily save you 90 to 180 dollars, right? So that's just on refunds, right? And if you're running LSA on your own right now, and you did not know about refunds, and you haven't, you know, been getting your leads refunded, uh, we will go back in time, and we will look at those calls as well for you, right? So this is an, you know, just that feature alone, I think is worth it for us to run for $99. You don't want to be going to the back end of Google, or having giving your team access not. to all of that, right? It's uh, not going to, yeah, it's, we're not it's, going it's to not going to happen, right? Um, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is the importance of answering your calls, right? So the, you know, currently the worst thing, let me start by here. The work, the Google from their orientation perspective is always about the consumer, right? They're about how do I provide the best experience for the consumer? And from their perspective, the worst case scenario is that you are a consumer, you see top agent in XYZ location, and you call, you see three profiles on there. You call each of those phone numbers and every one of them goes to voicemail. Then as a consumer, you say, this is frustrating. I'm never going to do this again. And you just provided a bad experience for Google, right? And so Google ranks you very heavily based on your answer pickup rate, right? And what we have found is that Google LSA calls can come in any time of the day and they can come in from any phone number. <laughs> so it's not like you get one set phone number where every LSA call comes in, right? So in order for you to answer, answer every LSA number, you have to basically one, be available at all times. And two, you need to also pick up every single call. And as if I, you know, if, as an agent, you know that you get a million spam calls, way more than even me. I mean, right now you're hearing a spam call being sent to me, right? I can imagine what it's like to be an agent. Imagine picking up every one of those calls because you don't want to miss out on an LSA call, right? So it's not a surprise that current clients who are answering their own LSA phone calls have a lower than expected answer rate. <laughs> That's just no duh, right? So, uh, you know, Google approximately expects 80% of your phone calls to be answered. And, and our average client who is not, uh, who is answering their own, own phones, you can imagine, is not anywhere close to that rate, right? So, Ylopo has actually set up an entire inbound call center just to take all of your LSA calls and answer them 90% of the time. So we call this feature Raya Live. It is included in the $99 we charge you, right? So you, you get an entire call service built into the LSA product. And from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. PST every single day, and actually we're extending that to 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. PST, just in case, uh, we are going to answer all of the calls from your LSA leads, right? We determine if the client is a buyer or a seller, and if they are, we do a warm transfer to you as the agent, 
And if it's unsuccessful, we inbox the lead to your CRM so that you can call them back later, right? So you're never going to miss a call from Google LSA because our call center is going to answer it for you. And we're going to filter out all the renters, the spam, the hangups, the wrong numbers, et cetera, and get you refunds on those right away. Right. So our call center essentially is your backup plan for LSA so that every one of your calls are answered. And we obviously auto dispute all of the bad calls for you for credits. And we far exceed the Google standard of 80%, 90% of our all incoming LSA calls are answered by our call center. So uh, I work with the call center crew every Friday um, just to make sure that they're, you know, handling the scripting. Hold on. Sorry, I'm getting an inbound phone call um, uh, to make sure that they're handling the, the phone calls well. Um, and I can tell you that uh, this this is worth a lot of money, Raya Live, uh, to me personally um, and to you. Um, and so the way that we've set up the, the pricing of it and everything like that, um, it's not, we're, we're not doing it to, to make a lot of money. We're doing it because if you don't have this, we're not answering those phone calls. You know, if we're all being honest, you know, if we don't recognize the number, we barely ever answer. So this is a really, really big deal for us. Um, 100%. Pricing for the inbound call center. Somebody no, it's it, it is all included ninety nine dollars uh, in your in your uh, LSA platform fee. So, if if I pay you ninety nine dollars, you manage GMB LSA um, optimization. You answer my phone calls with humans and transfer them. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. And and y you know what? <laughs> if you want to know how you know, how low that $99 is, just go Google, Google my business, you know, review products and see not even LSA management, all the things I'm talking about here, but just managing your GMB to the level we manage, how much that costs. It is several hundred dollars. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, no, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, not it's, even, it's ridiculous, right? Nobody, so, nobody charges yeah. it for that. This is another one of these features. So one of the things that Wilopo has done over the last several years is when they have a when we have a new product launch, G obsessively, if it's a feature that's going to increase your business, which means you're happy, you know things are going well, they're gonna zero base it out. They're not gonna turn it into a profit center like a lot of other businesses. They're not gonna try to nickel and dime. So this is another one of those examples because I remember with Raya the AI, I wanted to charge a lot. <laughs> and you guys are like, no. Now we're, we're, we're going to, we're going to try to make this to where, you know, we're, we're right at near cost. So people are asking, when does this feature come out? The inbound yeah. So out. this feature comes out now it's been live since December to all clients. <laughs> so if you uh, are not on it, uh, we have contacted you multiple times via email. If you're an existing Ylopo uh, LSA client, this feature is hundred percent live right now. So just email LSA at ylopo.com. And we will set that up for you if you are not set up already. So uh, this is a live, live feature that everyone has access to if you are currently on the Y Local LSA platform. So, uh, you know, very important uh, feature that we've launched um, that we've yeah. tested with, you know, thousands of leads, uh, tens of thousands of leads at this point. So uh, it is very proven. So, so what's cool about this is if you're already paying for the LSA management, and you don't have the call center answering your calls, this is an extra money for you. You just email lsa at ylopo.com and, uh, and you can get that call center answering. Um, and they create the lead for you, right? Um, yeah, a hundred. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about that next in, the, sorry, in, in a little here. bit here. Yeah. So um, the next thing I want to talk about is proper budget management. So as I mentioned, the CPLs for LSA has gone up substantially over the last year, right? I mean, we were looking at around $30 cost per lead in the early days of LSA. And today these are uh, up to $60 to $90. I think I saw one client who had $120 cost per lead. It's all supply and demand, right? Because more people are on LSA, Google can charge more. Um, but uh, you know, because of the fact that you can get re these refunded and their inbound phone calls, I think people would easily pay $120 for these phone calls, right? Um, so the lowest budget you can set on Google is $300. That means that you have a maximum opportunity to get only one to three phone calls per month. 
and before your budget runs out. And Google paces you more slowly so you don't miss out on opportunities, which means that you know, our average client who's getting six leads a month, if you only have a $300 budget, chances are you're getting zero, one, two calls a month. That's just the way it is, right? If you want to maximize your GMB, I would recommend that you set it at a higher rate, like even as high as $1,000, right? And Google know, let Google know that you are willing to spend up to a large cap, right? Now, we typically see that the average client only spends, I believe, something like 25% of their entire budget. Right. So if you set your budget at $1,000, chances are you're going to spend 250 bucks or 300 bucks or $400. You're not going to spend $1,000. Right. And typically, I have never heard a client tell me, like, I don't want more LSA leads. Like, give me less LSA leads. Right. So it's safer for you um, to, uh, you know, set a higher budget than a lower budget. Now, what's great about this product from a agent perspective is that we have found because we, um, you know, cannot spend your entire budget on a monthly basis, and it's incredibly hard to predict how to spend that money, that how much of your money is being spent. Usually, we, we when we ask for a pro, you know, when we launch a product, we ask for a prepay, right? So you prepay the media that uh, is associated with, uh, that you're gonna spend in that particular month, right? Any business would. For this product, Wailopo is taking a risk and we are paying you, we are charging you in arrears, meaning in the following month, we are charging you the media spent in the previous month, right? So if you have a budget of $1,000 and you only spend 250 bucks, then the next month we're gonna charge you 250. That's what it means, right? So you have no risk here in setting a very high budget. We are not taking those dollars out of your pocket. You are going to get charged what you've actually spent, right? So I would highly encourage all of you guys uh, to raise your budget uh, because it is going to get you more leads from that perspective. When I was when I was trying to uh, figure out what was going on, I remember I raised mine really, really high. Um, and uh, it wasn't like the silver bullet. So those of you that are like, oh, that's why I just need to like tweak my budget. You know, that, that's one factor of several. It has helped raising my budget, but it's not like, you know, you get nothing and now you do $10,000 a week and suddenly now you're going to get a ton. It just doesn't work that way. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. It's not just about budget, but that you, you don't want that to be the blocking factor essentially for you right. to these calls. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So, um, you know, another feature of the Wailopo LSA product is tracking, right? So uh, if you are running LSA on your own, you have to give them a phone number, right? And that phone number is either going to be your phone number if you're a single agent, or it's going to be a phone number that you set up for your team, right? Typically, you, in Follow Up Boss, you can set up a routing phone number. In Call Action, you can set up a routing phone number, and it goes to several different people, right? The problem with that approach is whether it's on your own or it's with your team, once they answer the call, once you answer the call, you have to remember to put that lead into your CRM, right? Or you're going to lose track of them. So you're on the go, you, you know, get a call from LSA, you got to take down all the nodes, go to your CRM, add the lead, do all of this extra work. And oh, by the way, if you want to get them on remarketing and the rest of the Y-Level platform, you got to add them to stars, right? So there's probably four to five steps, 10 minutes of time you have to take when a call comes in from LSA that is actually decent. Same with your team. And I'm not saying that team members will do this, but certainly I've heard situations where a team member gets a call. They don't say it's LSA call and they say it's a sphere call. So they get higher split, right? You have no control over that because you have no transparency, right? So with Wailopo, every single LSA call is inboxed into your account, whether you uh, miss it or not, right? So you, you know, um, so you can see here every single lead that is an LSA lead gets tracked and is sent to you as an inquiry event. That way, you can either call the lead back because they're a real person most of the time, uh, or if a call center calls you, you get a note directly about that transfer in addition to any extra information we have from the call itself. Right. So again, one of those features where it just saves you a bunch of time for 99 bucks, like it's just well worth it. And, yeah. um, you know, in addition to giving you that note, we also set them up on one level technology, right? So these people are automatically set up with a stars link. You can go in and easily add in their listing alert information. They're set up for remarketing right away. 
all of those details are set up together for you, right? We love the inbound phone call as agents and we hate the inbound phone call as agents because, you know, we're always, you know, you're, we're doing tons of stuff and, and it's confusing. And um, so to have someone always on for us and for them to be able to take the time and actually create the lead in our CRM to give us that record, that's a really big deal. Uh, you know, it gives me the ability as a salesperson to focus on what I do best, which is shaking hands and kissing babies, you know, uh, selling houses instead of taking the time to, you know, write down the lead's name and email and phone number, and then going into the CRM and adding myself to have an admin do that for me. This is what leverage looks like. Right. And, um, and so you guys, you know, you got to let go to grow. And if we're all being honest, a lot of us aren't doing a good job with any of this. And so to have Ylopo kind of inject people and process into this part of our business, it just means you're going to make more money, which is the name of the game. hundred percent. Yeah. So uh, we're coming up on an hour here, so I'm going to just wrap things up. Um, you know, uh, again, uh, you know, with the Ylopo platform, if you go to ylopo.com slash LSA, uh, if you have a Ylopo account or you, or sorry, LSA account, or you don't have an LSA account, we can set up LSA for you and we can manage your existing LSA. Um, so, you know, again, for $99 plus a 10% markup on your media spend, uh, you know, we will do all of the work that you just saw for you, uh, you know, and I think it's really worth it. I mean, that's oh, why yeah. we priced it at the number that we priced it. it, it we wanted it to be a no brainer. Um, you know, in, in addition to that, what I'd say is, uh, you know, there's work that we can do for you, which is all the automation that you just saw. And then there's work you're going to have to do yourself or I'll say, right. That work mainly is getting reviews over time, right. We can give you ideas and trust me, if I can figure out a method to get you a ton of reviews in an automated way, I'm going to do it. Right. I'm trying my best here. <laughs> um, the average client gets six, uh, you know, calls per month. But if one of those turns out to be a deal or even, uh, you know, one out of 12 of them over two months turns out to be a deal, your ROI on this product is already going to be tremendous. Right. So wow. everyone should have LSA. Um, and, uh, you know, Barry, any last words before I wrapped up here? You know, um, a lot of people, confused, uh, concerned, um, wanting more info. Uh, we've got Chrissy Burnett, uh, who's on the LSA team. She is a rock star. Um, she's commenting on everybody's stuff and she shared the LSA at ylopo.com. Look, I work at ylopo, right? I work here. Okay. And I can tell you that, uh, on a regular basis, I'm connecting with the marketing team to do a quick assessment of what's going on. Um, can Ylopo do all this without me? Yes. But I know in my professional career, every attorney I've ever had, every CPA I've ever had, every marketing, digital marketing firm I've ever used, when I partner with them and connect with them and collaborate with them and speak into them, you know, what's going on in my business, I always get more out of it. So my encouragement for those of you that are finding frustration, really make sure you're connecting with the LSA team and, uh, and you know, make it better. And just know that for those of you that are in a market that's really competitive, there's something on the horizon. Make sure you get to Summit because I can tell you I'm experiencing it. Um, there's some really cool stuff coming down the pipe for you. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and, and you know, that's, uh, you guys saw it earlier, right? The challenge of LSA is you don't get enough calls. Like everyone wants LSA calls. You know, um, our largest LSA client gets, I think, like somewhere between 80 or 100 calls, you know, maybe slightly more than that. That's the largest client we have, period, in the entire Ylopo ecosystem out of 1,200 clients that have Ylopo LSA already, right? So you are not going to build your business on LSA. And there are definitely clients that get zero calls. Uh, you know, probably why, because you don't have enough reviews uh, and you don't have a lot of recent reviews. Um, that's probably the number one reason. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, that is why we developed an entire new product that has the same principles of LSA, but does not have any of the scale issues. Um, I'm not going to preview that today because I realize we're going to have summit in, uh, you know, a couple of days or a couple of weeks here. But if you come to the Ylopo summit, we are going to preview that product uh, and get you on the list to, uh, you know, be the first signed up for uh, that particular feature. So for all of those clients out there who I've seen the chat message that says, oh, I don't get any LSA calls. I get 
very few LSA calls. Don't worry, we have a solution for you. We built it out, you know, <laughs> like we hear you, you know, 100%. Uh, and if you attend the summit, uh, we you are going to be in first in line to do so. So just go to ylopo.com slash summit, use the LSA 25 code and get 25% off. And we're going to reveal all of those details to you at the summit. So thank you again for attending. Uh, I'm surprised we kept this under an hour, which we, how, her, her, Barry and I can talk for hours all the time. Um, so really appreciate your time today. Again, if you have any questions, you're a current client of LSA, uh, just email lsa at ylopo.com and we can work with you and help you. If you are new to Ylopo LSA and you want to sign up, go to ylopo.com slash LSA. Thank you, everyone.